Welcome to From Betrayal to Breakthrough. Here is a dose of Dr. Debbie, and today I'm talking about why do we sabotage our relationships? It's so common to self-sabotage in a relationship. My first TEDx, Stop Sabotaging Yourself, is about this very topic. And while it's so common, it's often so subtle, we don't even realize we're doing it. Why do we do this? Here are six reasons. Number one, we often do this because there's something we may not be willing to feel or face. And by sabotaging the relationship, we don't have to look at what we're unwilling to or not ready to see. Two, we can sabotage in a relationship because old beliefs come up that we're not worthy, not lovable, not deserving of a healthy and happy relationship, we'll do just about anything to prove ourselves right. So if we subconsciously think, I don't deserve a healthy relationship, we'll sabotage it. Three, we can sabotage a relationship out of guilt. If we hurt someone in the past and haven't processed and worked through it, sabotaging a relationship is a way of punishing ourselves for our past. I see this in people who've betrayed someone they love. They may have moved on from the relationship, but the betrayer hasn't done the work to heal themselves. When they work through what led to their actions, how to process that, how to heal it, how to make sure they'd never choose those behaviors again, they can make sense out of it. From there, they can do all they can to fix it. That doesn't mean the person they hurt is willing to listen. The person they hurt may not even be alive. It's still important to pay it forward in whatever way you can. Maybe it's to prevent others from choosing that same path. Maybe it's a way to heal your shame and guilt. It's also important to move towards self-forgiveness here because holding on to the pain isn't doing anything for you or for anyone else. Four. We can sabotage a relationship because on some level, we know it's not a fit, but we don't know how to address that, or we feel too scared to speak up about it. So instead, we may do things to slowly chip away at the relationship. This way, when the breakup happens, we can chalk it up to it just not working out and possibly even place blame on the other person instead of taking responsibility for the breakup. Five, we can sabotage a relationship because we're trying to get someone to prove their love. If deep down we don't believe we're lovable or worthy of love, we may go through great lengths to get someone to prove it in order to convince ourselves that yes, we are in fact lovable. I remember having a client years ago who wanted to lose weight. Now, diving deep into human behavior for over 30 years, I know that often excess weight has very little to do with food. In her case, her weight was serving as a way to test her husband's love. She was convinced that he didn't love her, so her excess weight was her way of subconsciously believing, okay, let's see if you love me with all this weight on. Sort of a passive aggressive way of talking back. She was testing him as if the only measure of their love was judged by her appearance. We do these types of things all the time. Six, we can sabotage a relationship so we have something else to blame, criticize, and judge instead of ourselves. This is so subtle, but it's a really big one. For example, if you break up with someone, you can blame your pain and hurt on the relationship so you don't have to look at and deal with the deep pain and hurt of unprocessed trauma, for example. There are so many reasons why we sabotage in a relationship. And while it mostly is our is for our protection, there are lots of reasons why we do it. If you're self-sabotaging, especially after shattered trust and betrayal, whether you're the betrayed or the betrayer, we can help. Go to the pbtinstitute.com and let's get you healed, happy, confident, and moving through it once and for all. And we have our Trust Again 2.0 program, which is a do-it-yourself five-day deep dive on how to trust again. Our most popular RISE program where you get to work with our certified coaches. They are all certified in helping you move through the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough, but they each have a specialty. And, you know, some specialize in narcissism, in chronic pain, in forgiveness, in reconciliation, in self-growth, in mindset, so much more, in in porn addiction. We cover all of it. Uh, and, and we have daily classes. We bring in experts to teach master classes. I'm there 
doing group uh, Q&A with the entire community. And at the highest level, there's the Transform program. And that's where you're working directly with me. Uh, it's intense, but it works. We also have our Rebuild program specifically for the Betrayer, a 90-day deep dive to clean up anything and everything that led to their choices, actions, and behaviors so they become someone they're proud of. So go to the PBT as in post-betrayal transformation, thepbtinstitute.com. Let's help you get healed, happy, whole, confident, feeling great, and so much more. Thanks for listening. Can't wait to be with you next time. And here's to your breakthrough.